the scientific puzzles that only the James Webb Space Telescope could solve seem to be boundless. And now it so happens that Webb could find and intimately examine mysterious structures in space. Many things about the cosmos were unknown to scientists when they developed and built the Hubble Space Telescope, the most revolutionary astronomical observatory of its time. As Webb is more advanced, even more discoveries are underway. What mysterious structures are rampant in our universe? How exactly does Webb operate? What's the future of space looking like since the advent of Webb? Sit back and relax as we delve into these topics. Despite being able to witness some amazing sights, space observatories like Hubble are unable to match the James Webb Space Telescope's surreal vision, Webb. Oumuamua, the first interstellar object detected passing through the solar system, was visible thanks to Hubble. However, Webb will not merely observe any additional mysterious objects that enter our solar system. It will also learn at least some of their secrets as if they were up close. It is an understatement to say that Webb's vision is very potent. If an object like Oumuamua happens to appear by chance, it cannot only recognize and picture it, but also examine its chemical makeup in order to learn more about how it formed, where it came from, and the conditions in that far-off star system. While charting the universe, a group of scientists came across something unusual, a strange object that sends radiation bursts every 20 minutes. Although the object is roughly 4,000 light years away, it was one of the brightest radio signals in the sky due to its huge energy bursts. Every 20 minutes, the burst would occur for one minute, dissipate for a few hours, and then restart the cycle. Tyrone O'Darity, a doctorate candidate at Curtin University, made the first discovery of the object in March 2018 while utilizing the Murchison Wide Field Array Telescope in remote Western Australia. The multi-million dollar telescope's broad frequency and range field of view allow it to see far-off objects. O'Darity referred to the discovery as being such a weird object, as being interesting. However, Martin Cordner, the lead researcher for NASA's Web Target of Opportunity program, thinks a new era of observation is beginning. He told Sci-Fi Wire that the Webb Telescope has incredibly sensitive, precisely constructed optics and detectors that are optimized for capturing the tiniest infrared emissions. Previous infrared telescopes were insufficiently sensitive to pick up such faint objects. But this isn't the case for Webb. Infrared detectors which would be able to gather the feeble light coming from those early stars and galaxies more than 13 billion light years away were Hubble Technologies' missing component. The visible and ultraviolet light detection capabilities of Hubble are very good though. These early galaxies do generate visible light, but because of their distance, the so-called redshift causes this light's wavelength to be extended into the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Since Hubble's early years, technology has advanced significantly, and the James Webb Space Telescope project has been advancing this development. The massive mirror of the James Webb Space Telescope will send light from galaxies and stars to four state-of-the-art equipment that will investigate the chemical makeup of the nearby and far-off universes in addition to taking pictures. This is accomplished through the use of a method called spectroscopy, which examines how matter in the cosmos absorbs light. Astronomers will be able to piece together the composition of the stars, nebula, galaxies, and planets visible through the James Webb Space Telescope by studying how various chemical elements absorb light at various wavelengths. According to Kimball, the Wide Field Camera 3 runs out of wavelength when it comes to these far-off galaxies. It will be fascinating to watch which of those detections are accurate, because some are a little dubious. Such statements, such as the fact that we observe this specific galaxy 250 million years after the Big Bang, will be made by Webb. The telescope has a set of 18 beryllium hexagonal mirrors that have been covered in a veneer of gold. Beryllium is a rare metal that is renowned for its durability and resistance to high temperatures. The largest mirror ever deployed in orbit, these will grow into a flower-like arrangement measuring 21 feet across. The first image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope showed that its sensors would have flawless vision into the hitherto unexplored depths of the early universe. 
the picture showed the space telescope's 18 hexagonal yellow mirrors working together. The test, which was directed at a star approximately 1 million kilometers from Earth, shows what this potent piece of equipment is capable of. The image was taken by the telescope in February 2022, but the effects will last for decades or even centuries. When Webb's test images, which showed light from a star 2,000 light-years away from Earth, yet visible to the naked eye, were ultimately released, scientists were overjoyed. The image was produced using the James Webb Space Telescope's mirrors in conjunction with filters that turned the light from the far-off star into a red, spiky shape. The foreground wasn't the image's focal point, though. The untapped potential of Webb was highlighted by the hundreds of distant galaxies that appeared suddenly behind the spiky star. According to Webb Operations Project scientist Jane Rigby in a press release, you can't help but notice those thousands of galaxies behind it, incredibly spectacular. These far-off galaxies have been around for a very long time, billions of years to be exact. However, this is merely a small sample of Webb's potential. According to Rigby, scientists anticipate that it will be able to view as far back as a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope will provide astronomy with wave after wave of discovery with its flagship replacement for the Hubble Space Telescope. There is a great deal of anticipation that it will not only reveal the chemical compositions of numerous extraterrestrial worlds thought to have elements necessary for life, but also expose the conditions of the very early universe in ways we have only dreamed about. Webb will begin looking for galaxies in the far reaches of the universe this summer, according to L.Y. Aaron Young, a postdoc at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. In 1995, Hubble took what appears to the unaided eye to be one of the darkest, emptiest regions of the sky and turned it into a stunning image of the early universe known as the Hubble Deep Field. Sarah Sager, a planetary scientist and astrophysicist at MIT, claims that the web represents the culmination of decades if not centuries of astronomy. We have been anticipating this for a very long time. Even before the Hubble Space Telescope was put into orbit in 1990, researchers were planning a follow-up. It's uncertain how much longer this groundbreaking spacecraft will be able to scan and capture images of the cosmos after spending more than three decades in space. The web, however, will usher in a new era of astronomy and reveal things to humanity that have never been seen, according to scientists, when it completely deploys in orbit. Early in the 2000s, Hubble's ultra-deep field image surpassed that achievement a few years later. The near-infrared spectrograph NIR-SPEC on Webb should ensure that Hubble's successor will carry on that scientific investigation. Specifically, the JWST will demonstrate the relative amount of life-giving components such as oxygen and carbon in their interstellar gas, as well as the distance to old galaxies, the types of stars that make them up, and their types of stars. A project to examine Pluto and some of the thousands of other celestial objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region of our solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune, will be one of the James Webb Space Telescope's first missions this year. In terms of color, form, size, groupings, and geological and atmospheric activity, these bodies, also referred to as Kuiper Belt objects or trans-Neptunian objects, display astounding diversity. Several spacecraft, including NASA's New Horizons mission, have passed these bodies, but they have only had a fleeting opportunity to observe them. The sensitive infrared cameras aboard Webb will allow researchers to investigate the items for a longer period. In addition, researchers intend to examine the data to discover more about the early years of the solar system. Astronomer at Cornell University and Webb interdisciplinary scientist Jonathan Lunin remarked of these asteroids, they are in the graveyard of solar system creation. He stated that the objects had probably existed for billions of years and may continue to exist for many more. Undoubtedly, the central star dominates the most recent image, but Webb's enormous enormous capabilities couldn't help but also capture hundreds of old galaxies. One can only imagine how spellbinding the wonders it displays will be when its science missions start this summer. Therefore, it is best to get ready for paradigm-changing discoveries in 2022 and beyond. What do you think of the James Webb Space Telescope? 
comment below.